A WITNESS IN AN ALLEGED MURDER FOR HIRE CASE AGREED TODAY TO TESTIFY AGAINST TWO OTHER DEFENDANTS IN THE CASE IN EXCHANGE FOR HAVING THE MOST SERIOUS CHARGE AGAINST HER DROPPED. FOX 11'S BILL MISTON WAS IN the OUTAGAMI COUNTY COURT FOR THAT PLEA HEARING. BILL, JUST THE LATEST DEVELOPMENT IN AN ONGOING CASE. THAT'S RIGHT, TOM. IT'S A CASE THAT'S BEEN FILLED WITH TWISTS AND TURNS OVER THE LAST SEVEN YEARS. NOW IN COURT TODAY, THIS WOMAN, ROSIE CAMPBELL, AGREED TO TESTIFY AGAINST DIANA SIVANY AND HER DAUGHTER, CANDY, IN EXCHANGE FOR THE FIRST DEGREE INTENTIONAL HOMICIDE CHARGE AGAINST CAMPBELL TO BE DROPPED. TONIGHT, WE BRING YOU A FOX 11 FOLLOW-UP. Court accepts the pleas and finds Ms. Campbell guilty. Sitting before Judge James Morrison, Rosie Campbell acknowledged the state has enough evidence to find her guilty of criminal damage to property and theft. Now convicted prosecutors say the state will request an additional six to eight months in jail as a part of sentencing. She's already been in jail for a year and a half. It's one of three. We still have two more to go. After the hearing, Outagamie County District Attorney Carrie Schneider wouldn't comment specifically on the 70 cases. Campbell, Diana Sivney, and her daughter, Candy, were charged last year in connection with the shooting death of 30-year-old Laura Plowman in Greenville. Investigators said Diana Sivney offered Campbell $5,000 to kill her former partner. And when Campbell backed out, Candy Sivney allegedly shot Plowman. Campbell confessed, according to police, saying she witnessed the murder. But two months ago, Campbell refused to testify, even with a promise that she wouldn't be prosecuted. However, in court Tuesday, prosecutors dropped the homicide charge against Campbell in exchange for her testimony against both Sivanis. We felt this was an appropriate resolution and one that addresses her actions, and we'll be able to comment more on that as the case continues. Campbell will be sentenced before she testifies. That's the risk anyone takes when they plead or when you have someone where they may have to testify in any matter. So, But I know her counsel went through and spent a significant amount of time going through everything with her as well. Now, Campbell's attorneys had no comment after the hearing. Candy Sivany's attorney, Martin Kohler, said he would have no comments until he reviews the plea agreement. And Diana Sivany's attorney, Dan Kaminsky, tells me he doesn't expect Campbell's testimony to be helpful in the state's case.